Hey, thanks for stopping by the channel. In this video, we're gonna be talking about how to get started in the field of cybersecurity. And more specifically, we're gonna be talking about how I got started in the field of cybersecurity. If you're looking for a path for cybersecurity, like what you need to learn and what order you need to learn it and where I think the best resources are, you can go ahead and click this video right here. It's gonna take you to my video where I kind of explain where to go if you're looking for free resources. And then also a path if you're looking for paid resources and the fact fastest path or the path that I would recommend to myself if I was to start over. This video is going to be more of the story of how I got started in cybersecurity. So I'm going to walk you through kind of how I got interested to where I'm at today and what I'll be doing starting in the next month. There's actually been a lot happening. So if you have noticed, I haven't uploaded a lot of videos and it's because I went from living in a place that looks like this to living in a place that looks like this. And what I did not expect when I moved out into the middle of nowhere was the fact that I would have no internet option. So I had to get Starlink and that did take me a little bit to actually get the stuff here, set it up. And also I did not realize that there were so many bugs and so many animals and so many rodents that I would have to deal with. So the past few weeks I have spent my time boogie trapping my house for all possible bugs or rodents that are going to try to come into my house or into my garage or into my shop. So that is kind of where I have been. Now let's go ahead and jump into this video. So in about 2016, 2017, I decided that I thought it'd be a really great idea to make some money on the side. I didn't really want to leave the industry I was in. So I thought I'll just go ahead and start some side projects. And so I decided that I thought web development looked really cool. I did some research. I thought, well, if I become a full stack web developer, I'll have a really great range of skills and then I can do freelancing because that's what I read on the internet. I spent about eight months to a year learning full stack web development. I picked up a few jobs here and there. The problem was I wasn't going to be able to sustain this because a lot of the companies that want full stack web apps are going to be having large budgets and they're not going to hire just some random person working in their basement. So it was really hard to make any extra money. And a lot of the smaller companies all wanted content management systems. They wanted something like Wix or WordPress or GoDaddy. And I didn't really want to build any of that, nor did I think that was going to be fun. So at this point, I started doing some tutoring for people who wanted to get into the world of programming. So a lot of college students who were struggling, I'd help them with their algorithms or writing programs or fixing stuff. And then what happens is they graduate from college and they go get jobs and then they come back to me whenever they hit problems. So I was kind of able to get my foot in the door that way. But really what happened was a lot of people didn't know how to secure web apps and that is where my love for cybersecurity started. So I began getting really interested in security at this point and I actually have a friend whose wife, whose brother uh, worked at a cybersecurity company and if you can't tell the telephone game, uh, don't take advice from somebody who is your friend who's married to somebody whose brother works at a cybersecurity company who then has to go find a penetration tester because the advice I got was really, really not that great. Somebody recommended to me that the way to break into cybersecurity was to sign up for the 30-day OSCP exam. So the reason I signed up for the 30-day is they were told that I had a background in programming. So like, you're fine, just sign up for the 30 days. At this point, I think it was about $600, which at the time for me was really crazy expensive. And needless to say, I failed the exam, signed up for I think another 60 days. I can't remember, it's been a really long time ago. And from that point on, I just started collecting certifications because I thought I wanted to be a penetration tester. The thing is, I didn't want to leave the field I was in. I wanted to do something part-time and there's not a lot of jobs for part-time penetration testers. So I was still stuck. I had gained a bunch of skills, didn't know what to do with them. And now actually I will be starting in August teaching uh, Python programming with a cybersecurity twist on it. So it has all played out in the end, but I actually started the YouTube channel from all of this because I had so many people asking me questions that I had known and my name kind of got out around in different schools for being a tutor and helping people that I decided to just start making courses and putting them up on YouTube instead of explaining the same thing over and over to a bunch of college students. So that kind of brings us to where we are today. So I kind of did a big, long, full circle in my search for a side gig, which actually turned into something that I enjoyed and did full time for a while. So started out through web development and then went to cybersecurity and collecting certifications to tutoring people to fixing code for businesses that had holes or something in their web applications to doing some bug bounty to making YouTube videos now to teaching 
uh, Python in an academic setting starting in August. So that's kind of my long roundabout way of getting into cybersecurity and the tech world. So I actually have some technical videos that are going to be coming out in the next couple of weeks. If you have any questions, I would love to do a live chat with you guys in August. So I'm going to go live for the first time. And if you guys have any questions, preload so that way I have things to actually talk about and I'm not trying to read the comments as I'm talking at the same time. Go ahead and let me know what questions you have down in the comments below. And if there's any videos on the technical side that you would like to see, please let me know. I have a list that I am currently collecting and I'm going to be working on in the next few days and I'll be publishing those over the next few weeks. Thanks for watching.